What's up everyone? It's Jake here at Coastal Adventures. And today I want to talk about bottom fishing. Uh, more specifically uh, how to target inshore link cod and rockfish. Um, when I say inshore I mean uh, targeting these fish within a couple hundred yards of shore and uh, 40 to 60 feet of water. A lot of people don't realize uh, Washington State, these waters are plumpable, lake cod and, and bottom fish, and you don't have to have much or go far to get them. Um, pretty much anywhere on the west end side of the straits, uh, you can go to any pullover and uh, put a kayak in and paddle out, or paddle out a couple hundred yards and get into some really nice fish. Um, the main thing is uh, looking for structure. Uh, when, when I say structure, I don't necessarily mean rocks on the surface, um, more so rocks underneath the water. Um, to do that, uh, fish finder, um, those are going to be your best option, but uh, if you can't afford one or really don't want to invest that much in one right now, uh, alternative options are a phone app. Um, I use Navonics. It's $15 a year, uh, great service. It's GPS and uh, nautical maps combined um, and it'll put you in the roundabout area of some structure. Um, also there's a free nautical map uh, online that I'll list in the link below. Um, use that to scout out areas uh, and uh, get out and get some fish. Okay so for gear uh, I'm gonna go over uh, what I use. Um, None of these are paid sponsorships, they're just real reviews on what I've worked, what's worked for me. Um, so yeah, we'll get into it. Uh, first, I use my rod, a uh, six foot one piece, heavy action, ugly stick. Uh, this has by far been my favorite rod for kayak fishing out here. Um, it's uh, short enough, uh, makes it really easy to get fish in the kayak uh, or in the net. When I first started fishing out here, I used a eight foot six, nine foot, uh, your basic salmon rod. And that made it a little difficult to uh, net the fish or get them in the kayak. Uh, I swapped this rod and uh, it's it's been amazing. And uh, it's essentially a beefy trout rod, but uh, don't be fooled, uh, it can handle some big fish. Uh, yesterday, my buddy uh, hooked uh, about a 60 pound halibut on this, this same exact setup and I uh, was able to get it all the way up to the side of the kayak before we re-released it. So, anyway, so we get into the reel now. Pretty much any saltwater reel uh, will do. I prefer spin reels. Uh, the main thing is you need a saltwater reel. You use your basic freshwater setup and that reel is going to get gummed up and sticky and it's not going to work for long. So, a reel, uh, this is a very cheap reel here. This is a Posano 4000. Uh, you can get them on Amazon for 30 bucks or so. Um, I usually use a Penn Spin Fisher, which those run about 150, but uh, mine is uh, broken right now and waiting for a part. So this is my backup, and it's cheap and a good alternative. For line, um, I use a 30 pound braided main line, and uh, when you're running braid, you, you always need to have a shock leader. So when you're fishing for these fish, there's a lot of structure underneath the water which is going to cause abrasion on that braid and that braid's going to wear thin real quick. Uh, so you hook into a big fish and uh, there's a weak point in your line that's going to break. Uh, so I usually run about a six foot uh, mono or fluoro carbon uh, shock leader. Um, it holds up a lot better to abrasion and uh, you should make sure you always have the pound test uh, lighter for your, your leader. Just a 20 pound leader. 30 pound main line. For my tackle, uh, I'm currently using a two jig setup. So this top one, uh, I got some leader tied to a dropper loop here. And uh, this top one's a 3 8 ounce jig head. The bottom one is a one and a half ounce jig head. Uh, both these weights seem to work really well for, for this depth of water. Um, and for my curly tails, I use a gulp made by Berkeley. And these soft baits, well, hands down, outfish any other soft baits out there, and uh, that's um, coming from experience. There, I've, I've tried regular baits, I've tried tried uh, pretty much anything you can name, and uh, 
these are hands down the best out there. So well, that's it for this, uh, this uh, video. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, uh, leave any comments below. All right.